Hello and welcome. My name is Christian Claussen. I'm a technical marketing engineer for Cisco Content Security. I'm here to walk you through the initial integration of Cloud Mailbox Defense into your Microsoft 365 tenant. Let's get started. Upon first login to Cloud Mailbox Defense, you'll be presented with this wizard. As you can see, there are two steps to integrating the product with Microsoft. The first is to configure the appropriate Microsoft 365 permissions required by Cloud Mailbox Defense. The second is to begin journaling email messages from Microsoft to Cloud Mailbox Defense. The permission level which is requested from Microsoft depends on the mode that you choose. Audit mode requires read permissions and is optimal for a trial or a POV scenario. In audit mode, mail is still scanned and all verdicts are available. Search and reporting is fully functional, but remediation is not possible. All of the investigative power of Cloud Mailbox Defense is still available, but there is no way to make changes to mail or to mailboxes in your environment. Audit with enforcement requires read and write permission to the mailboxes in your Microsoft deployment in order to remediate messages which have been convicted as malicious or phishing or spam, etc. Once the mode is selected, Click on Connect to Microsoft 365 in order to be redirected to Microsoft's sign-in page. Authenticate with an account which has global administrator privileges in your Microsoft tenant and accept the permissions required by the mode that you chose. Once you have authenticated and granted the application permissions, you will be redirected back to the Cloud Mailbox Defense Wizard where you can begin on the second step of the integration, configuring journaling. On screen, you will see the assigned journal address. This is the address of our mail intake system where you will send copies of messages that you want Cloud Mailbox Defense to scan. Copy the address to the clipboard. In order to create the journal rule, log into the Microsoft Exchange Admin Center and navigate to Compliance Management and Journal Rules. If you don't have any journal rules yet, you will need to designate a destination for undeliverable journal reports. This email address should be dedicated only to receiving undeliverable journal reports. Keep in mind that if you need to use an external address which is not listed here, you will need to first create an SMTP contact for that address. Now that you've designated the undeliverable reports destination, you can create a journal rule. Click on the plus sign and paste in the journal address from the Cloud Mailbox Defense Wizard page. Name the rule and choose what mail you would like to journal for scanning. You can choose a subset of users or groups, or even select mail based on whether it's internal or external. Keep in mind that if you exclude mail from journaling, it won't be scanned or indexed by Cloud Mailbox Defense. Save the rule to complete the configuration. That concludes the integration with Microsoft 365. In our next video, we will cover the policy configuration and walk through the rest of the user interface. Thank you for joining, and we hope to see you again soon.